Hello, strong people. Week four, day two. Yeah, still not quite used to saying day two when it's Wednesday. Um, by the way, I'm still loving having Tuesdays off and uh, moving my deadlift day to Wednesday. That extra rest day in the middle, that's a game changer. It really is. Um, my deadlift is blown up from doing that, and I pretty much, I feel like it's because of that, so... I don't know, but it's great. So, that's what we got today, deadlifts. Um, deload day, thank God. Um, I do a bag toss first, and uh, it's basically a tornado here. I think there's a, there's a hurricane going on in, like, Texas, Florida area. So, I feel we have to be getting winds from that or something, because it's insane how windy it's been today. We actually lost power at work, um, and... Yeah, and it, it's not even like cool air. It's like it's like someone's taking a it's like a giant has a bowl of hot soup and it's just like blowing air all over us. That's what the breeze feels like. So it's not even refreshing. It's just hot. As you can tell by my my sweating when I haven't done anything other than move my yoke out there and put some PVC pipe in it. So we got throwing first, and then some uh, deload deadlifts. It's like eight sets of four with less than 30 seconds rest. So um, I didn't bring my mic out today because I think I'm almost liking my audio better without it. It feels more consistent. And uh, at least until I get a better one. I need to get a good microphone if I'm going to continue doing this, which I plan to. So makes sense to me. Um, but I'm going to probably record that, and that'll be most of the video, I would imagine. You know, 30 seconds rest. So it should be deadlifts from start to finish should be roughly four minutes um, if I did my math right there which sucks I don't want to do that um, I'm not gonna wear a suit for it either um, I'm gonna give my body a, a break from that for today and just pull um, just normal maybe even beltless we'll see we'll see how warm ups feel I don't want to go you know uh, I, I don't know I don't know I'm just kinda talking we'll see play it by feel um, I'll be honest, yesterday was insanely stressful um, for no reasons relating to the gym, really. Um, so, I haven't talked about it too much, but I am in the process of getting a garage put in this, in this uh, on my property here. And, um, basically because I don't want to do this in the shed anymore, and I want a place to park my car, my wife's car, I want a place to have, you know, parties if I want, you know, little get-togethers. It's actually so windy in here that it's blowing chalk out of my chalk bowl. Um, and I don't know if my uprights for the yoke, my crossbar is going to stay. So, but anyway, yesterday I was informed that I may not be able to now yesterday, keep in mind was the day before I was supposed to start digging, not me, but you know, the guy I hired to do the digging to, uh, you know, to level the ground, do all that to set the concrete. And, um, basically the township guy was worried that, this road right here, there's a road that goes through my property, and um, we weren't really sure if I owned it. I say I, meaning, you know, like my wife, technically. I'm not on the deed. Um, you know, whatever. That doesn't matter. But, basically, we were worried that we had to be so many feet off of this road, because it's a right-of-way back to some stuff behind our house. And, uh, the, the end-all, be-all here was, if that was a right-of-way, you know, that we had to be so far off of, um, we were kind of screwed, for the most part, based on the size of our building, because our property's not very wide, so we have to be, like, 30 feet off of that, the building's, like, 30 feet, and then we had to be so many feet off our neighbor's yard, so adding all that together, we don't have much land to pass that width-wise. Our property's kind of long, but not wide, so township guy came up here, met with me, we looked at the, um, you know, the parcel site or whatever, it showed that we owned this, the lane itself, and then it showed that we also own, you know, five feet or so on the other side of it, meaning I can put it wherever I want, kind of, but, you know, I don't want to be a jerk, I want to give people some room, so we're obvious, we're still like 15 feet off, you know, from the road itself, so basically after all that, all that, all that fun stuff, it means we're good to go, we can build here, we got the permit, we got everything we need. Um, which I already had the permit and everything. I don't know how they missed that, but that's besides the point. Um, so basically, 
I thought I wasn't going to be able to build a garage. And now today I'm like, okay, I can build the garage right where I wanted to build it originally. It's been a nightmare. Yesterday was so stressful. And I'm just happy that we got it figured out. What is that car doing? Oh, they're stopped in the middle of the road. I was like, why? They're turning into their house. So after looking at everything, basically, we're good to go. Thank God. Because it's been... Every step along this process has been terrible. I have hated every second of it. So I can't wait for that stupid thing to be in the ground. And then I am done with projects for like a year or so, at least. That was terrible. So I've wasted enough time. Let me get warmed up and go throw some bags. hear me I don't have a mic on obviously so hopefully it's good um so I thought this was eight sets of three it's eight sets of four with less than 30 seconds rest so um I threw a belt on because why not no suit um I've been pulling in a suit you know consistently for I don't know 12 weeks now so um I think maybe it's okay to give myself a little bit of a break from it, especially on a deload day. Um, plus, it is a deload day, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make a deload day harder. It's not what it's meant to do. It's meant to just, you know, feel the motion out and um, just kind of get get it done. Give your body a little bit of a break while still putting in some work. So, happy medium, put on a belt. Um, and it's kind of windy, so I hope you can hear me. But bag toss went really well. I do want to say that um, on the last two sets, I didn't record one of them, but on, I think it's the last set I'll show you, or the last set you should have seen. Um, I was being a little bit more aggressive, uh, pulling the bag back through, like on the, uh, the swing, you know, before coming out, the back swing, that's what I'll call it. On the back swing, I was being more aggressive with throwing it between my legs, um, and I think that helped. I think that helped a lot, because it felt like I was using a little bit more um, What's it called? A little bit of rebound, um, like elastic energy, whatever you want to call it. So I'm building. I was building a little bit of momentum coming back, bouncing out of the back, and then exploding. I felt better. So I'm going to send it to my coach, obviously, and we'll see what he says. But I think that was a lot better. So I don't have a timer to um, time every set, you know, on these. So it's going to be just by the feel for the most part. Um, and I expect this to be kind of difficult, so we'll see. Strapping in is not going to be easy every 30 seconds either. tell you that ain't gonna go well <sighs> you 
Yeah, I definitely not feeling great. That feels very heavy. So, oh God. The bar stick in my legs pretty bad already too. Not ideal. I don't think it's been 30 seconds, but I'm gonna go. Man, I don't know about this tonight. That's feeling... I feel a good bit of extra pressure on my low back. If that feels like that after a couple more, maybe in my best interest to be a little bit safer. I don't feel great in general, to be honest. Yeah, this might be worse than a regular, just regular old sets of deadlifts. <clears throat> Maybe all that stress from yesterday and today is uh, affecting me a little bit. As it gets sweatier, the bar is sliding up my legs a little bit more. It's kind of helping a little bit. These straps hurt, dude. Um, but they ain't slipping off. That's for sure. There's actually kind of cuts on a, by my thumbs and a little bit on the other side. Just from them digging in really bad on those big poles from Saturday.
Yeah, my lower back is pumped up more than it should be doing these. I don't like that. But it's probably a consequence of not pulling raw in whatever I said, 12 weeks, 14 weeks, something. Since March. So April, May, June, almost two weeks into July. So 14 weeks, yeah. With that being said, I still think I'd rather just pull pull raw. Because uh, the suit does help. Um, it sucks to use, it hurts sometimes, but it, it adds some weight to the bar, for sure. Especially off the floor, big difference. back is really pumped and I feel my position feels way off. I feel like I'm pulling. I'm, I'm so used to how the suit makes me pull or how I pull in the suit that it's kind of messing with me right now. Definitely out of position a little bit. Two more, right? I think two more. Oh, I need a, I need water. Sweat my eyes. Come on. Come on. I'm having trouble walking out and using too much low back. Uh, and my legs are getting tired, which is not a bad thing. Because I used to really struggle using my quads. Um, but over the last I don't know, a year and a half maybe, they have gotten a lot better using them. <laughs> it's probably been 30 seconds already, but I'm okay with that. The bar really is sliding on my legs better though.
give me a sec and I'll check back in. All right, I don't want to talk too long because that video was longer than I anticipated it being, mainly because I probably talked too much and waited more than 30 seconds in between uh, every set, but it's hard to keep track, and I don't know if I would have been able to do that, the full eight sets, had I not taken a little bit more time in between. My hands were actually going numb there at the end, just from the straps being tight. Um, I actually got a blister on my the back of my one thumb, so that was a little bit annoying. But I picked it, and it's fine, so. I think the next thing, I don't even know what to show you next, because most things after this are kind of boring the lighter, lighter stuff, because it's a deload day, so. We'll see. We'll find out together. I'll see what I'm feeling, so. Uh, I pretty much had to lay here, let my lower back unpump, depump. I don't know. It was too pumped up and I was feeling rather uncomfortable. Um, now, in my head, ideally, I want my glutes to be more pumped than my low back. So, I'm going to go with, it's basically because I've been using a suit for so long, I forgot how to breathe and brace with just a belt on. Um, what I'm learning is a suit can, uh, it's like putting a band-aid on a lot of lifting flaws. Seems like. Obviously, you can't throw in a suit and just be great right away, or even know how to use it properly. So, but it is definitely a different pull going from a suit to um raw. So, especially when you've been doing the suit deadlift for you know 14 weeks, whatever I said. So, um, I'm not mad that I went with a belt there. I really didn't want to put the suit on today. Um, and I don't think it would have been much different, but. I'm not mad, so that's enough talking for right now. I'm going to record something else, and then we'll check back. I won't record a whole lot today because that deadlift section, session was, uh, it was pretty long, so we'll see what's next. All right, so that's pretty much what I'm going to call the video. Like I usually do, I have still a little bit more stuff to do, core work. I'm going to do some reverse hypers, or at least, you know, the the makeshift version of reverse hypers, which I think work. They work. I mean, that's all there is to it. If They look, they look super weird, but they work. If you want me to show you those next, I think I've shown them before, but if you want me to show them again, drop a comment or something let me know like hey how do you do reverse hypers at home and i'll be able to show you guys frankly i just i don't want to do it right now because it's dark and i'm starving and i'm ready to be done so i'm just going to kind of speed through it without doing a whole lot of explaining and it's really all there is to it i need to eat more that's what i'm realizing right now um but i've real i have not like, usually I'll have, a, I'll try to get it, but lately at least, the last few weeks, um, and leading into regionals even, I was trying to get a snack like midday or even some extra calories in the morning. And um, I don't know if this is because of the uh, new thyroid medication. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but apparently I have a um, an underactive thyroid, even just slightly maybe, but um, pretty much. Uh you know, if it's underactive, your metabolism is not as, you know, as fast burning as others, I guess. So, 
by this should wake up my thyroid and um, speed up my metabolism, I guess, I believe. So that could be another thing. Um, and I need to uh, readjust for that because I'm used to eating, you know, like twice a day, maybe a snack here and there. And um, leading into regionals, I was getting some breakfast sandwiches in the morning too. So it like, it's really nice because the gas station up the road from my work, they, um, at like 11 o'clock or so, they knock down their uh, breakfast sandwiches that are left over from breakfast uh, down to like 25 or 50 cents or something. So I get like two of those. It's like a thousand calories or something. Not the best calories, but they're calories. You know, a little bit of protein, a little bit of carb, a lot of carb probably, probably a lot more fat too. Um, but it's added energy. So I, I feel like I need to start doing that again just because I, it's, it works. Um, I feel better on those days that the, those deadlifts, those 32 reps of, uh, 420, it was 428 technically. Um, they gassed me out. I'm not going to lie. I sat down for a little bit to let my uh, back feel better, get the blood out of it. And, um, my legs are jello now. That's why I only did two, whatever it is. What's this bar weigh? 61 pounds. 51 pounds? I forget what this bar weighs, but it's like 241 or something I did, so I don't know. Um, and my, that, my legs are just annihilated. They don't feel great. Well, they feel good. They feel worked, which I like, so I can't be too mad about that. Um, but the end all be all here is I need to either start drinking my Gatorade mid-workout again, get a little bit of extra calories, keep my glycogen levels up. Or I just need to eat more calories, carbs during the day so I have a little bit more energy to burn. Because it's just not ideal to eat lunch at like noon or whatever and then train five, six hours later. Um, it just ain't working. Unless you have a ton of carbs, ton of calories at that point in time. But I have probably 1,500 maybe. That's a rough estimate. You know, 450 grams of rice, um, 10 ounces of, 9, 10 ounces of chicken, um, like a half a can of black beans. So it might be a little bit more. Um, but either way, I'm going to call the video here because I've already talked longer than I wanted to. So, tomorrow, press day, secondary press day. Uh, I think it's heavier still. So hopefully we can get somewhere up to the upper threes, maybe, for incline log. I think that's what I have tomorrow. So, we'll see. Because I also plan on hitting, you know, some more qualifier stuff Saturday, so I don't want to be too burnt out at the same time. It's going to be, you know, we'll, pl we'll play with it tomorrow. So, go out, get strong, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.